Are you looking for free open source good looking status pages? Let's discover Kenner, a free self-hosted platform to create a great looking status page for your apps and APIs, empowering you to deliver transparent updates to your customers during incidents. Packed with advanced monitoring tools and extensive customization options, Kenner gives you full control to tailor your status page to your project needs. To start using Kenner, you can self-deploy it by following their installation guide on their GitHub repository, or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using Kenner on our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service. In the search bar, type Kenner and select. Then you have the choice between different cloud providers, regions and service plans based on your needs. Then next. On the next screen you can adjust more advanced settings, choose between different level of support, the first one is free and included by default, and once you're all good, hit the create service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your new instance is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on Elestio administration dashboard for Kenner. Copy the password into your clipboard and open the admin UI link. You arrive on your fresh install of Kenner. And now what we have to do is to configure it. First, you can switch between light or dark mode. The button is hidden behind me and you can choose a different time zone for it. By default, it stick to mine Tokyo. To start customizing it, Click on the top right Setup Kenner and from there we can log in, type the email of your account and paste the password, then sign in. The first step is to configure the site. So you can choose the title. Let's use LSTO status page. Then you have the site name LSTO, the URL LST.io home location let's keep slash and for the logo that will appear you can either upload a file or paste a url i will use a url and use the favicon from ls your website and then click on save to view if it's working we can click on preview on the top right and we can see that the tab title changed to what I typed, LS your status page, same for the icon and the logo here and the name. Let's go back to the editor, manage, and before diving into more customization things, let's open monitors. By default, you have one that is created named Earth Planet 3. We can keep it, but let's see how we can add another monitor. Click here, the logo you want. We can reuse Elestio favicon to say, okay, we want to check if our website is working. Tag will be Elestio, same for the name. Description, Elestio landing page, deploy open source software. Then you have the cron. If you don't know what it is, this is an expression to say when your job will run. So what we had was star 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 which means it will run at every minute but let's say you want to check it every five minutes you would change the star by the number you want so at minute five every time or let's say every hour well that wouldn't be this one it would be like zero and star so at minute zero it will be every hour or if you want every day at 10 it will be this uh, this, sorry. This way you can define when it is checking it. The default one is good, it will run every minute, which is enough. You can choose a default status, but let's choose known and it will update it itself. And then we need to add a monitor type based on what you are targeting. If it is an API, a website, a server, you would use a different protocol. Let's choose ping because it is a website. You can customize the function that is used to do the ping, but the default implementation works well. Let's add new. Me, what I want to use is a domain. Type your domain name, a timeout, and the number of time it repeats before saying, okay, it's not working, and then save. 
the button is behind me. For all the different options and how it works, open the documentation and it's very well done. So if you have any question, you can refer to it. If we go back to our preview, you can see that now we have LSTO and Earth Planet 3. So let's wait one minute to see if it's working. Okay, so now we can see status okay, 100%. And if we click on the day, we have this nice graph showing you every time that it tried it. But as we have so few data, it's difficult to see. But if we look at a real one, it will look beautiful. Then on top of monitors, what you can do is create triggers. It's to be notified when there are any downtown or when it's resolved. You have different type of implementation for it, webhooks using Discord server, Slack, or the classic email. This way you can react or even add automation when something happens. Again, check the documentation if you need any help on the integration of it. Then you have the list of the different alerts that happened, but we only had 100% success, so we don't have anything yet. And to inform your users, you have events. It's something you add manually by clicking on new event. It's either an incident, nothing is working, we are on it, we can use markdown, sorry, we will come back to you as soon as it's fixed. You choose the start time of the issue, let's say it's uh, today and save event. Now your users can see what is going on, you are informing them. And let's say your team is so quick, it's already fixed, you go back update, you choose the different step you are in. Okay, let's say we have completely fixed it. You can say it's done now. We have fixed it. It was a mistake made by the intern. As always, add comment and save event. Now, once you reload, you can see in recent incident your toxic message about the intern. You have the same principle if you want to inform your users about an ongoing maintenance you plan to do. It's better to say it before than once they are facing the issue. About the customization of your instance, you have multiple options. The SEO to connect different analytics platform. You can also edit the different meta tags, description, but also the one for social media. So if someone is sharing it, you have control over what it generates. If you go to home, you can customize the different texts. LSTO status page. You have a nice preview here. You can save it. You can also show how you display the data, which date range based on what you are doing. Some data could be more valuable than others. The different settings for the incidents and also the top right links. Here you have a link to the documentation. So you will type your documentation. You can add an icon, same with a file or URL. You can add anything instead of GitHub, let's say LSTO dashboard and a link to it. And instead of displaying setup Kenner, which is a local link to where we are currently, you could say admin panel or admin. Let's save. Now we can see LSTO status page. Uh, we could also edit these texts. The buttons are redirecting us to the right place. The branding is much better. If you want to fine tune the UI, you have the theme section with different presets, for example, squares or circle mono. Let's choose the light theme. You can choose different options. And if you want to really customize everything precisely, you can choose a different font or even write custom CSS that will be injected. They give guidelines on the class names inside the documentation. I saved what I choose randomly and we have another UI. Now I'm in light mode and another great feature they have is the badges, which are customizable badges you can add into any website. So on your main website, you could copy this, which is a badge you can customize. Let's say, okay, this one. And if I paste the URL, it will be my badge showing us the current status. So of course it's something you embed inside your website. 
if you work in a team, don't forget to invite the other users and giving them the appropriate role. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Kenner with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.